This is SOS Ministry. SOS stands for Secret of Secrets. Today we are here in the forest of Oriental Arbor Vitae in Daegu, which is a um, natural monument number one in Korea. Today's title is The Principle of the World and the Principle of the um, Kingdom of God is quite the opposite. The kingship in the world is taken by defeating the enemies in the world in the world or inherited by the father as a prince or princess. In modern democratic countries, people must defeat the opponent in the election and become the president of the republic. But the principle of the kingdom of God is quite different. In, in God's kingdom, people supply the life to the other people. On the basis of the power of an indestructible life, people supply indestructible life and become kings. You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek is the king of peace. In the world, kings are the kings of world, but kings in the kingdom of God are kings of peace. A God supplied the indestructible life to people, he proves the fact that he's the true king. Those people who were sent by God also supply the indestructible life and they become God's satisfaction. Therefore, the principle in the kingdom of God is principle of supplying the life. In the world, greater beings dominate over the weak beings. They have to serve the greater beings. But in the kingdom of God, it's quite the opposite. Greater beings must serve the weaker beings. Jesus said, Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Whoever wants to become greater among you must be your servant and whoever wants to be first must be slavable. In the world, people force other people. Weaker beings must serve the greater beings. That is not the virtuous cycle, but it's the vicious cycle. In high-ranking people, serve the low-ranking people. The army will become an ideal army, but in the world, there is no such kind of army. High-ranking people always try to suppress low-ranking people and force them to serve high-ranking people. That's why the efficiency will be dropped and people have the complaints in their hearts. We people have spite against God, protesting against God. Why don't you revenge to our enemies? In the world, stronger beings plunder weak beings and persecute them. Contrarily, parents are greater beings, but they are always ready to sacrifice for their children. That's why the homes are small kingdom of God on earth to some extent. Jesus, who was the representative of God, sacrificed himself and saved the world and fulfilled God's wish and dream. The fundamental temperament of God is the life. All the life have two absolute instincts. First, the pure preservation of its genes, and second, reproduction of life. The gene must be preserved as purely as possible, absolutely, and must be reproduced 30 folds, 60 folds, and 100 folds. The gene of Jesus also must be preserved purely, should not be mixed with other things. In the world religious, they dilute the gospel of Jesus and make the gospel degenerated, nor can they reproduce into 30 folds, 60 folds, 100 folds, and inherit the gene and the kingdom of God, kingdom of Jesus. 
God followed the virtuous cycle himself through Jesus, and he proved himself as the true God. Jesus, who carried a cross and saved all the people of the world, he became our role model, prototype man, and our eternal entity. We used to wander around because we did not have any role model to follow. Jesus saved so many people of God out of the world. In the religious world, there are so many kind of doctrines, rituals, and traditions. But if there is no role model, people always wander around. This is the fatal problem in Christianity. There is no role model in the, to follow. Hmm. If we ask for the counseling to the pastors, they tell us the Bible verses and tell us to pray harder to God and get the answer directly from God. About 95% of Christian sermons always emphasize more diligently, more diligently. There are so few who share their own experiences and testimonies. If they delete their own testimonies and the confession, it's not the few, it's not the new covenant ministry. True man of God is connected with the root of life, the source of life. Those ministers who are not connected with the source of life are blind people. They themselves are blind people and they make other people blind in return. Blind leading blind both fall into the ditch. That's the greatest tragedy. Because the physical body, we suffer so much hardship and go through so many difficulties. But because of physical body, we can express love through our sacrifice. Angels cannot express their love because they have no physical body. God cannot express their His love to people because He has no physical body also. That's why He sent Jesus as His representative. He was able to express His love through Jesus. If you have no physical body, there's no way you can show your true love to others. Through sacrifice, you can prove other people that your love is truthful. Jesus said, eat my flesh and drink my blood. For my flesh is real food, my blood is real drink. By carrying the cross, Jesus was able to prove his love to all mankind. Wordly, love is contaminated. They ask reward for their sacrifice. Their love is false. When a wine make, winemaker makes a mistake wine, turns to the vinegar, like the same manner, love turns source and make, sor make turns to, to the hatred later on. Hmm, what a contradiction. Parents ask for the rewards or for their love toward their children. Parents' love turns also. True love never asks for rewards. We must learn to be happy, to sacrifice ourselves for the true love. This is the true ministry and maternity. Mm, there is the true maternity in the kingdom of God. There is the true love in the kingdom of God. Dwelling in the kingdom of God on earth is the greatest blessing. Hallelujah.